guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike, and today they just dropped the first trailer for The First Omen, an Omen prequel, which sounds like something nobody wants for sure, especially when you read the synopsis, and the synopsis is a young American woman is sent to Rome to begin a life of service to the church, but encounters a darkness that causes her to question her faith and uncovers a terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth of evil incarnate. So The Nun 3, you know, it sounds like another Conjuring spinoff, another lame kind of Walmart jump scare Friday night movie. But I got to tell you, I watched this trailer today and I did a little deeper of a dive into it. After watching the trailer, I'm impressed with how scary it looks like it's going to try to be. It looks like the intent is to be a scary, disturbing film rather than a, you know, fly by night Blumhouse lately ish type of pop up again, Conjuring esque universe typical usual possession thriller type thing that we get mostly these days mostly the director and writers are mostly pretty fresh names for the most part there is one of the writers was the director of the recent fire starter movie which that's not the best thing but he didn't write that movie he just directed it scott teams wrote that movie and we we know how that goes he's got pictures of someone somewhere and it stars nell tiger free who was in game of thrones she was in m night Shyamalan's tv show servant and she's pretty much the lead throughout this entire trailer here so to understand what we're about to watch this prequel to the first omen let's go back to the first omen in that movie which was directed by lethal weapon and superman director richard donner and it was at a time when because of rosemary's baby and exorcist these religious horror movies were in high demand gregory peck plays a politician whose wife gives birth to a stillborn baby and the hospital chaplain priest of the hospital convinces him to just switch out the baby with the baby whose mom died during childbirth is like hey i got a kid without a mom you got a mom without a kid let's just put them together and let's not tell anybody big mistake the kid ends up killing a bunch of people and they find out that what actually happened was there was a group of these people who worked for the church who were actually evil as fuck and they murdered his baby smashed its skull in and replaced it with the antichrist baby damien whose mom is a jackal a literal fucking jackal like the animal is his mom a, a jackal gave birth to a human baby and they didn't show it which was disappointing this is the prequel to that keep that in mind as we watch this trailer together okay so here we have these extremely drunk nuns who passed out on the floor face first and stop drinking so much wine ladies everything in moderation even the blood of christ this music that you'll hear sounds creepy and like it was original and maybe made as a score for it. But the truth is, is that it comes from an opening of a TV show called Vikings, which I saw people complaining about. I haven't watched it. Later on, you'll get some Nirvana, which sounds pretty cool. At least it sounds like Nirvana to me. We've got these nuns doing their best backwards man impression. I'm the backwards nun, the backwards nun. I can walk backwards fast as your son, which is Damien. So here you have Bill Nighy, who you may remember from Shaun the Dead, who was Shaun's dad. Dad, that's dead mom. Ooh, I have a sneaking suspicion about who his character is. He's listed as Lawrence in IMDb, only as Lawrence, no last name. If you remember in the first Omen, the father, the priest at the hospital who does the baby switcheroo, who turns out to be evil as fuck beans, is Father Spillane. Now, from what I can tell, they never give Father Spillane a first name. I could be wrong about that, but I think that there's a possibility that this Lawrence ends up being that Father Spillane. Again, complete conjecture. I'm just guessing it and trying to put uh, sticks together. Let's play Tummy Sticks. Now, I'm not sure what these shots of her right here are meant to be. It's just like, it kind of looks like Maxine or something like that, which obviously it's not. But you'll see her start to do some pretty naughty things as this trailer goes on, which we'll talk about what I think that might mean later. But she's definitely got a Courtney Love type situation happening in that mirror. I'll see what Here she is doing her best Tim Burton goth impression or cable guy Jim Carrey just letting the spider crawl all across her face looking all hot and goth. Here's the part of the trailer that sounds kind of Nirvana-ish, like one of those slowed down versions of uh, You Know You're Right by Nirvana, which is a badass song. That's pretty dope if that's the case. It sounds cool. Now, this is confusing to me because initially your thought would be, okay, this is, if this is a prequel and shows how Damien was created, this could be her having the baby, right? But again, if you remember from the original Omen movie, Damien was born from a fucking jackal. So that's not the case. I'm not sure what's going on there. That actually confuses me a whole lot. And I'm going to feel pretty dumb when I actually figure out what it is. But does she not look just like right here? Like she's in Smile too? 
Like that face. Holy shit. You got your uh, uh, church on fire. If you look in the corner there, you can see Michael Myers in the Cult of Thorn about to pre impregnate his own niece. Them carrying the baby out like it was delivered there. So I'm confused by exactly what's going on. Are we actually going to see the jackal stirrups and all have a child? Because I fucking, why do I want to see that so bad? I need therapy. And again, sexy time stuff happening right there. People licking each other's faces. You've also got the car crash scene happening in reverse, which you'll remember the accidents and the stuff that happened throughout the franchise or something we've come to expect how gnarly they are. So there's a hint at some more of that type of stuff going on. There's a fancy ceremony happening right here with this person who's either old or has spent a long time in the bathtub taking the fancy gloves off. I'm not sure if this is a, a religious ceremony when she's impregnated or something by the devil. I don't, I don't know. Again, I'm just guessing it shit here. There's some sexy, dark sex stuff going on. You, you dirty, evil sex people doing your sex. That's cool as shit. The 666 at the, at the roof of the mouth, which is totally going to be my next tattoo. And then there's some sort of riot happening out in the streets right here. I looked up the signs. I translated them on Google because I'm a fucking nerd. And it's it's just all about like liberty or let's be free or fighters or stuff like that. Just generic kind of signs from what I can tell. But yeah, there's there's if you see the statue there, it's not quite Pizazu with that giant snake dick, but it is some sort of angelic statue. So I imagine this has something to do with some religious freedom or something like that happening. And then there's a bunch of shots of Lily Tiger Free. Who, who the hell is called Lily Tiger Free? It's just a dope ass name, but she looks different in every shot it's super weird like she looks like a complete different human being in like seven of these shots and then you have your first actual dialogue from the trailer in this line you don't have to be afraid this child is his way this child is his way. It kind of just gives Hellraiser 3 pinhead vibes, you know, when he's like, blessed are they who come to my supper. I like it, that, that's what you want in a movie like this. So one more thing I want to show you that's pretty cool. I didn't notice this myself. My buddy here on Twitter noticed it and I appreciate that very much, but listen to this part of the trailer and I'll tell you what it actually is after you hear it. That little creepy sounding thing right there was played in reverse the audio from the original omen where she's saying it's all for you damien it's all for you played backwards which is some satanic shit which is the exact kind of cool just like deep cut shit you want in this movie so what i'll say about that trailer after watching it is i'm actually pretty impressed with it is there anything in there that go that makes me go holy shit this is gonna be really really good no there's not but I'm surprised because, again, it feels like it wants to be scary. It doesn't just want to be just like, hey, this is we're going to slap some shit out, put Julia Stiles in it, and hey, we're just going to do another Omen movie because it's a title and it's the Omen. Do me because you're the yo-yo master. No, it feels like they're actually trying to make a scary film here. And it feels not nearly as generic as I expected to. Now, this could be just a bunch of random shots and images thrown together and they put it in backwards because there's just not a lot of content here. And maybe the movie will end up sucking shit. And being an IP grab, I don't know. But so far, I'm pleasantly impressed with the tone, with everything that they're going for. Again, when you have a movie like The Exorcist that Blumhouse just put out, I thought it was terrible. The first half of the movie almost touched that kind of like vibe that you want in an exorcist movie. And then it just all went to shit and nosedived halfway through. But the first half they had that, it is possible to grab that, that creepy feel today for sure. As we've seen in other movies. So I enjoyed that. I like the, the lines uh, that were going on throughout the movie or the, the, the dialogue that was on there, which was to control those without power who don't believe create something to fear, which to me is definitely a hint of the original omen. It's going to tell the story of these evil priests and church folk who planned the switcheroo of the baby. But it's also focused on, focused on this character who we read goes to Rome to begin a life of service, but then encounters a darkness that causes her to question her faith and uncovers a terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth of evil incarnate. Now, this is the same person that we saw going out and licking people's faces and doing a bunch of demonic sex stuff like butt plugs in Texas. So I don't know how all that works out and shakes loose, but we're beginning to put together somewhat of, of an idea of the movie. And I love that, man. The trailer does not give too much away. Uh, the trailer was super sketch as far as like, I don't know what's happening here, putting the pieces together. That's what you want in a trailer. It gives you the vibe. It gives you the tone. Listen, Blumhouse, pay attention, Universal. You don't have to show the entire movies in your trailer. So I appreciate that from Fox, uh, what used to be Fox, 20th Century Studios now. I like that they're doing that a lot. I love the touch with the backwards music. 
And something interesting also to throw out there is that I noticed this on IMDb. If you look it up for this director, Arkasha Stevenson, she has an upcoming movie called The Jackal. This, this movie features two of the same writers in Ben Jacoby and Tim Smith and stars Neil, Neil Tiger Free as well. And if you look at the first movie where it was filmed, it was filmed in Italy. Guess where the Jackal says it's being filmed? Viterbo, Italy. So the fact that this is called the Jackal, the fact that it's the same cast, it makes me think that we could be dealing with an ex-Pearl situation here. They may have already filmed a sequel to this, which means if they did that, it means that they have super confidence in this, or at least if they're already planning a sequel, it means they have super content confidence in this now this could be anything it could be absolute jack shit it could never fucking happen but that's super interesting to me and the fact that it's called the jackal so maybe there was two steps to this and we actually did see her having the baby and maybe somehow they have to get this lady to become evil and they have to possess her and slowly let her take the beast in so to speak and then somehow she sleeps with the jackal and then the jackal has the baby out of its... T you know what? I'm not going to go there. The devil's a butt baby. Who knows? I don't know the lore. I'm not that deep in the lore on it. But that's really interesting to me. So we might have a whole movie just showing the childbirth from the jackal. I don't know how this is all going to play out. All I know is it's got me fucking fascinated. It's got me interested. The mystery box is locked. It's sitting in my lap and I can't wait to reach in and just grab it. It's my dick in a box, babe. So that is what I think of the first Omen trailer. I think it looks pretty damn good. I don't know if it will be, but I'll tell you this. It did not have my attention and now it does. What do you guys think about all this stuff? Let me know. Comment down below. We love your fucking faces and we'll see you guys soon. Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said God damn. God damn you, fighter. Halloween never ends, suck my fucking dick, and I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box, or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating, let's go fucking drinking, let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS.